Grief Talk with Von Solis, The Clips. When service is taking precedence over everything else, it could even be, like I said earlier, service to the kids, service to the relationship, service to, you know, the job, service to the church, service to everything, everything. And then you do get lost in there. So what are one of the uh, first few things that a person stuck in this? How can they begin to find themselves? They may have not even heard the word authentic self. Sadly, I think you have to hit rock bottom. You have to have something that sort of jolts you into, wait a second, because when it is service, it's a good thing. And most people who engage in a lot of service really do, like they do have this big heart. What would wake them up to that? So you're saying it would have to be a rock bottom, which there's different levels of rock bottom, of course, but a rock bottom for them that wakes them up and says, I deserve more, essentially. Yeah, I mean- I know lots of women who are exhausted, but who won't get off the treadmill because this is sort of the life they set up. Mm. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to say that they don't feel they deserve to step off the treadmill. I just don't think they know that it's okay to step off the treadmill. My feeling is this, that If I don't love and honor and respect myself enough to treat myself first the way I would treat others, then it really isn't an authentic experience. Because I believe that at some point, if you're always doing, doing, doing for others, I think it is going to catch up with you in more ways than one. So if you're sitting there drowning in all this goodness, not sure it's doing you any good.